Hello everyone and welcome to JavaScript in less than three, where I describe JavaScript concepts in under three minutes. Today we're going to look at the concept of an index. Uh, these are numbers that indicate where in a certain JavaScript object, a certain location or a piece of information is stored. The really important thing to remember is that an the indices always begin at zero. Let's say var this time, name equals Anna. It's actually, we'll say Anne because it's slightly easier to demonstrate. And let's say we want to know what the first item is. Let's do it this way, console.log name zero. And this would log the letter A, capital, right? So as said, zero here what we're doing is we're looking within this string and we're saying take the very first item in the very first position uh, and that is zero uh, so this would be the second character is index one third character index two fourth character index uh three <laughs> so as you can see even for me you have to do a little double take sometimes uh, it can take a little while to wrap your head around it and it's definitely a different way of thinking but it's very important. Um, we can also actually directly change the index of something. So for example, I could say name three. Yeah, so they've misspelled my name here. Yeah, my name is spelled with an A. Uh, you could just say equals A like that. And when we do that, it will automatically change this character into the character that we specify here with A. So now if we logged name, it would say Anna with an A on the end. And um, we can also use these with arrays. Um, let array one equal one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we can see those. Well, actually these will, the index for each of these will be one character or one number less. Uh, so for example, we can say um, array one, two, equals 35, I don't know. And then if we console log the array one, what we will actually get is one, two, 35, four, five. So here we've accessed the second index, zero, one, two, and that is the number three, and we've replaced it with the number 35 instead. Uh, so that's why it's really important to keep in mind that the index is different from what we would say in natural language, usually one character less. And this will also be, become important when you start using the dot length property for various things in the future, uh, because dot length will always return something that is one number higher than the final index of what you have. A little complex to, to explain, but hopefully that helps. And I will see you next time because we're out of time. Bye.